Hi, I'm going to show you how to make an oil infusion. It's also known as a macerated oil. And this is basically taking um, something like coconut oil and infusing it with dried botanicals. Um, you can do this with fresh botanicals, but it doesn't last as long. So using the dried, um, the dried flowers is a really great way to get a long lasting um, infusion. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And really, first of all, I just want to talk about benefits because um, when you've got something that is dried like this and you want to get the benefits out of it, obviously, if you use it dry, you're not going to release any of those benefits. Whereas when you actually infuse it into an oil that you're going to use in your products, you get the benefits of these particular botanicals. So um, calendula is very, very soothing. And um, we're going to use this blend today of calendula, uh, lavender, and chamomile flowers. And we're gonna make it into um, some nursing products for babies. So um, we can make a nappy balm with it. Uh, we can also use it in our baby wipes as well. So um, it's also a really great way of using, um, instead of using essential oils, which could be a bit, um, a bit strong for babies, um, to still get those botanical benefits um, just in a more diluted way. So uh, first of all, in order to make your um, infusion, you need to um, get some oil. So I'm just going to do a small amount. I've got about 100 grams of coconut oil in here. That's just normal coconut oil, not, not fractionated. Um, and then I'm going to take um, each of these and I'm going to put about a tablespoon um, of botanicals into the oil. Today I'm going to do the... Um, do it on a double boiler so it's using a heat um, to actually infuse the oils you can put your botanicals into oil and actually just leave it in the sun and um, leave it in a sunny location you just put a lid on it put it in a glass jar um, but you would have to leave it for um, for several weeks to months in order to get a proper herbal infusion but if you've got the time then it's that's also a great natural way to infuse your oils so this is my chamomile so I'm just going to give that a stir and now I'm simply going to pop this onto a double boiler and I'm going to let it to simmer um, and just let those herbs infuse you'll notice after a while that the oil will start to change colors it takes on the botanical colors that you've used. I'm going to leave this on the double boiler for probably an hour, uh, possibly more. I'm just going to see whether the color has come out of the botanicals in that time. This is our complete wellness book and it's got some great ideas in for using botanicals. So uh, on one page we have um, a herbal infusion using water and this is actually using fresh herbs but you could use dried herbs as well on that and then there's also a page on how to make a macerated oil which is what we're doing today so there's just a bit more information on the different types of botanicals you can use um, and the process so it's been about two hours and my oil has finished infusing um, it's a bit hard to see on the video, but it's got a really nice yellowy tinge to the coconut oil. So you can either put it through a, a sieve, a metal sieve, or I've got a muslin bag here that I'm just going to um, strain it into, back into the coconut oil jar. So once you've got all of your botanicals in your bag, you just pull your bag out and just carefully just squeeze that excess oil out of the bag. And there we have our 
calendula, lavender and chamomile infused coconut oil. It smells so lovely. If you're wondering what you can do with the leftover botanicals, yes, you can pop them in your compost bin, but another really great idea is to actually use them as a poultice. So they've already infused the oil, the coconut oil, and you can literally just wait for this to cool down a bit and actually apply it onto your skin where you have um, a wound or a cut, or it could be bruising, um, maybe an insect bite, and this will actually help to pull out any, any toxicity in the skin and soothe it. So if you're interested in making a poultice, the book that I was showing you just before, that has got some great ideas for poultices too. So um, that way you're actually getting two uses out of your botanicals. And here's our finished product. Our calendula, lavender and chamomile infused coconut oil.